The unfortunate truth about Black Friday deals is that oftentimes they're actually scams, or maybe scams a little bit too much, but oftentimes they're either not much better or actually worse prices than have been available previously when it wasn't Black Friday. And also, uh, with the ever-growing trend of Black Friday sales starting earlier and earlier, Oftentimes, the best Black Friday sales happened in the week leading up to Black Friday and are already sold out by the time you actually get to Black Friday. So today's video is going to be a little bit uh, just talking about how you avoid kind of getting scammed and, and uh, my overall thoughts on today's um, Black Friday, uh, you know, sales. For example, uh, if I wanted to buy an RTX 4070 right now, I'm like, okay, I'm going to look at the, the G GPU deals on Black Friday. I want a 4070. Uh, I could go to somewhere like PC Part Picker, for example, which surveys prices at a lot of retailers, sort prices low to high. Hey, the lowest price models at $500. That must be a great deal, right? Uh, I mean, I, I could even research the MSRP of this card. It was $600. This feels like it's $100 off, although when the 4070 Super came out, the 4070 MSRP actually dropped to $550, and they were regularly available in like the $530 range. Uh, but the thing is, if you guys look at the uh, uh, results of my video I posted two days ago, well before Black Friday, I had found an RTX 4070 available as low as $470, at least if you count a $20 mail-in rebate, and if you, even if you don't count that, that's $490. So we actually had a better price available uh, two days ago, well before Black Friday, on an RTX 4070. So if you're actually trying to buy on Black Friday, your deal's actually slightly worse. Now, another good way to get an idea of, of um, you know, how prices are going is to look at various uh, you know, price history trackers. Uh, PC Part Picker has one built in. There's also uh, apps and websites like Keepa and Camel Camel Camel. By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies in today's video. This is just a me trying to give you guys <laughs> some help on some of this. Uh, so if I click on this actual specific RTX 4070 model, we can check its price history as has been tracked by PC Part Picker. Uh, and you can notice that while uh, $500 is a uh, you know better than typical deal, if you look at its overall price history, it, it's not necessarily by much. And way back in early October, we actually saw this model available for $510. So this is only $10 less than it was available for back in early October. But notice, after that sale, they jack the prices back up. This went back up to $570. Now, why do they do that? They do that for about a month leading up to Black Friday, so that then when you hit the Black Friday kind of uh, region of time, because again, nowadays Black Friday sales often start sometime earlier in November, you can see here that as of, um, it looks like uh, uh, November 12th, this card then dropped back to $500, which, okay, $10 less than it was before, so it is actually a kind of a sale on this particular model, uh, but not by much, and it's not the massive discount that you might see when you see it's the price slashed out from $570 uh, down, to, uh, down to $500. So again, the best deal I've been able to find on a 4070 near Black Friday uh, isn't available on actual Black Friday. K kind, of, kind of disappointing. And if we look at these GPU prices in general, like, like some of these other deals I found, like maybe you wanted a uh, RX 7600 for $229.99. Uh, if I try to buy that today, uh, I, don't, I can't find it. Uh, it it's not available. Uh, the best deal I find is $250. So again, some of the better deals that had been available on graphics cards are actually selling out. If I, if I click this model, for example, uh, we can see here also, by the way, that $250 is absolutely nothing special. It's been available at this price for a long time, other than randomly jacking up the price a little bit on uh, November 1st, so that I guess they could then uh, drop it $20 again and pretend it's a Black Friday sale, right? Uh, when, when we track that price history. So, uh, yeah, it, it's just a little bit frustrating. Now, um, another uh, bit of advice I have for looking for Black Friday sales is looking for um, communities that have some knowledge on price history, because if you're somebody who doesn't track PC uh, price history throughout the year, um, it's, it's oftentimes hard to tell for yourself whether you're actually getting a good deal on something. Like I said, these price history trackers are useful, but uh, again, they're, they're price tracking like specific models. So again, there's a whole bunch of RX 7600s and things like that, and 
can be hard to know exactly what each one has been priced at for, for a long time. But again, you can see here like the, this one, really the same prices we've been seeing available uh, for a long time. Uh, but like I said, sometimes there's communities that have more knowledgeable deals. And uh, uh, one of them that I, I look at a lot myself is uh, Build a PC Sales subreddit. Uh, so if you go here, you will not only see a, a whole bunch of deals being posted, but then you can actually you know, open up those specific listings and look at what the community has to say about them. Because oftentimes you'll uh, get people saying like, well, wait a minute, there's a better, you know, similar product available with a better deal, or that's not really a good deal. They tell you what the all-time low has been, that kind of thing. Uh, so that's kind of useful. But this is another example of Black Friday this year, at least for computer components, being really uh, kind of sad because uh, generally on a Black Friday, if I go to build a PC sales and sort by hot deals, I'll find something kind of interesting near the top that I could then maybe uh, report to you guys if you're looking for a good option or, or maybe something I even wanna buy to have on hand for my PC stuff. But uh, the top listing currently for um, the build a PC sales subreddit is an Apple TV 4K <laughs> for 100 bucks at Costco. <laughs> Um, does, uh, why does that even count as a, uh, as a build a PC sales post? I'm not even sure. Um, but, and, and then the second highest post right now under hot posts is that the 9800X3D is back in stock at its MSRP at B&H Photo. Although by the time you go to that, uh, it's already ba back to just being a waiting list. That's not even a sale. And we're talking on Black Friday, that being, um, the top actual computer related post, uh, here. I mean, there's that in general, eBay has a 20% off uh, cyber coupon up to $500 with a certain code. I mean, that that's nice. Um, that can help you if you're buying stuff on, on eBay. But again, the, the top three posts here are, are, there's not even a specific computer sale deal. And the next one is headphones at Costco. Uh, so now I, w I will recommend that if you're not getting good deals on actual PC hardware. One thing that a lot of times people don't really think a lot about with your PC setup is peripherals. Um, so if there really, it, it, it maybe isn't any great sales on GPUs and CPUs, you know, the exciting stuff, you know, honestly, upgrading your headphones or something like that can actually make a pretty significant difference in your gaming experience uh, or even just watching videos and things like that on your PC. So honestly, if you're on kind of lower end headphones, I'm not even, not even saying specifically get these ones, not these are, are a bad deal or anything, you can consider them. There's also the Sennheiser uh, deal here, HD 6XX for 169. You can take a look at that. So again, there's, there's the kind of non-traditional PC uh, part upgrades, those peripherals and things like that that you could go with. But again, look at this. I'm on the build a PC. This is specifically PC sale focus deal for Black Friday. And you're scrolling down the hot listings and in the top one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, let's see, um, in the top six listings, none of these are actually even specifically PC components other than a CPU that's not even on sale. Um, like it's just MSRP listing on Black Friday. Isn't that kind of sad? <laughs> Uh, and then sometimes you get some GPU posts where it's like, okay, a 3060 Ti for 200 bucks, but it's it's a refurbished model where there's, you know, going to be like one, one or two of them available uh, on the Zotac store. Um, okay, got a couple of quick uh, monitor deals that were pretty decent. They're already uh, sold out. Um, again, some more headphone <laughs> deals. <laughs> Guys, this is kind of a sad Black Friday for PC components. Look at this again, some more monitors and some more headphones like Apple AirPods Pro 2s are, are your build a PC sales uh, hot ticket item. I mean, really? Anyway, some of these, like I said, are kind of interesting. Uh, for example, this is a pretty, uh, there are some, some interesting monitor deals. Um, if you guys are looking for something, maybe going with like this uh, eBay deal here. Um, uh, for this Cooler Master 27-inch 1440p 165 hertz gaming monitor, eBay can get it down to $120 if you do use that 20% um, uh, off uh, shopping code option. So, hey, look, here's an actually possibly exciting PC-related uh, component deal on Black Friday. I mean, that's, that's something. <laughs> but man, for those of you looking for the exciting... Um, like GPU and CPU deals, this is uh, 
really one of the most disappointing Black Fridays I've ever seen. Usually I can find something between my searching for stuff and looking at places like Build-A-PC sales and slick deals and stuff like that and bring you guys a video where I can like, find my top 10 uh, hardware component deals. But realistically, all I've got for, the, for you guys today is mostly just a rant slash, I guess, check some of the deals I already posted a couple of days ago. Some of them might still be available. But honestly, looking for GPUs specifically, a lot of the GPU deals I posted several days ago in this comment uh, on one of my earlier videos were better deals than what's available here on Black Friday. So uh, sorry that your Black Friday sales uh, uh, deal video today is more of a rant about don't get scammed because most of this stuff isn't actually great deals. Again, the overall advice is do things like check out price histories to see what's actually a good deal. Again, PC Part Picker has an option. There's Camel, Camel, Camel. There's Keepa, uh, uh, things like that. Um, the, none of those price history trackers are absolutely perfect. And with the Amazon sales, it can be hard for them to keep track of when there's coupon code deals. Um, but anyway, so... Wish I could bring you guys some more exciting news today. I might post a link to the uh, these ones again in the comment section today if you want to see if some of these are still available. Uh, maybe I'll add in that monitor deal we just saw because, again, out, out, of, out of all the stuff I saw today specifically on Black Friday, this is maybe the better one. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Maybe pick up some headphones. Uh, enjoy your Black Friday. Maybe you'll find something better than I did.